In this video we're going to see how to store and export a library of poses. So here I have a, a few poses on the same uh, timeline. So I have a, an A pose, then an idol, then another idol, and another idol. And then I have uh, a few poses with different uh, finger poses here on the right hand. So I can of course uh, store those poses with any object from the character selected. I can say uh, plus <clears throat> So I store every idol separately and then for the fingers I can zoom in onto the fingers and uh, store those. So finger one When I start on a character, usually I make all kinds of hands like uh, a fist and then a, a, a stretch, uh, like tense fingers, open fingers. So I have kind of my extremes and then it's easier for me to animate because I can apply those poses, then uh, I blend them a, a bit and uh, I don't have to animate the fingers manually too much. But when you store fingers like this on one uh, hand, the thing is, uh, maybe you want to come in and apply that pose on the other hand, uh, but when you do that, you don't immediately see that same result because here, when I stored my poses on the on the left fingers, I, I always had that kind of uh, like fist pose here. So what I can do is apply the pose in mirror. So here in mirror mode, I can select that first pose uh, on the fingers and apply it to the other fingers and what I do is I apply a key and then I restore my pose so I do a little update here so now my pose has the, the finger pose on both fingers so I don't have to worry about it anymore now without with or without the mirror mode I'm always gonna apply that that same pose here uh, which is pretty and pretty handy so I'm gonna do that on every uh, pose So once I have all my poses uh, stored nicely, I can export that as a separate FBX so that I can re-import that library of poses in any other scenes, maybe for another character or maybe for a scene with that same character, but uh, an old scene where I need to update the, the poses, for example. To do that, you need to select all the poses, but not here. Uh, you, you can't select them here in the, the pose controls because when you do that, um, the, the pose asset in your scene isn't selected as an object. You need to select them here in the navigator. You will see uh, poses, the poses category, and here you can select them all. Now that they are selected here in the navigator, if you do go to file, now that they are selected here in the navigator, if you go to file, save selection, and you can disable the save one take the file and now you can call it uh, I don't know, player poses for instance save that you don't need to save any of the takes because we just want to export the poses and now I could even like delete all those poses from my scene if I want either here or here and if I want to re-import my pose library, I go to File, Merge. I select my pose library, which is a rather small file because it's just a few poses. So here it's like a two, uh, two Ks. And I can select all elements. And now my poses are back in the scene and I can use them. <clears throat> 